How scared do you have to be to run out in the ice without any shoes? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at all the haunting real-life mysteries that inspired True Detective Night Country, the fourth season of the anthology crime drama. The story has inspired many Russian TV shows and documentaries, peddling armchair theories from alien visitors to Russian yetis. For the latest installment of HBO's True Detective series, showrunner and director Issa Lopez says she took inspiration from several unsolved mysteries from history that she was fascinated with as a child. The season is set in a fictional town in Alaska and stars Jodie Foster and Kaylee Reese as detectives investigating the disappearance of eight men from a research station. All right, what do we know, Pete? Um, a supply guy found the station empty this morning. He called it in. The scientist's last contact was... Speak up, Peter. I can hear him just fine. The unusual and creepy true-life incidents that Lopez drew from may not exactly parallel the events of this season, but they were definitely on her mind as she penned this new chilling tale. And hey, they may just hold clues to the show's biggest mysteries. Why keep it a secret? The Mary Celeste Ghost Ship. Isa Lopez says she took great inspiration from true-life mysteries that kept her up at night as a kid. And perhaps nothing made her lose more sleep than the disturbing case surrounding the Mary Celeste ghost ship. You see that? That's the water. The sea. In November of 1872, the Mary Celeste set sail from New York, only to quickly disappear without a trace. Bad luck plagued her from the beginning. A month later, the ship was discovered, but with no signs of life on board. I went aboard, sir, to see if anyone was alive. And? Where was Captain Briggs and his seven-person crew, including his wife and young daughter? Unnervingly, no one could say for sure. The boat was headed towards Genoa, Italy, and was discovered by a British ship drifting off the Azores Islands of Portugal. It was sailing erratically and seemed to be in distress. With no severe damage to the ship, the missing persons were a true head-scratcher. It was not leaking. The sails were damaged. Those that were, were up and had not been furled were damaged. Aside from that, there was no real structural damage to the boat. Most bizarre was that, except for the people who sailed off on the ship, nothing else was missing, be it water, cargo, or food the latter having six months' worth of stock intact. The men found working charts, but not the ship's papers, nor her navigational instruments or maps. Otherwise, personal effects did not seem to be disturbed. Although it was believed that one lifeboat was indeed gone. Also, an investigation showed that a sword was found on the ship, but there was no major evidence to indicate that any violent acts occurred. The logbook provided no answers either, as there was nothing to insinuate the captain had concerns or saw any immediate danger. The Mary Celeste took her secrets to a watery grave. In her wake, speculation, wild guesses, and many theories were proposed, none fitting all the facts or provable by any means. Despite the disappearing crew, the Mary Celeste returned to use for a brief time in 1873 before being damaged amid dubious circumstances involving insurance fraud. It was also the inspiration for a short story by famed author Arthur Conan Doyle in his younger years. There has since been a plethora of fictional tales, be it movies or novels, that have taken inspiration from this waterlogged mystery, with True Detective seemingly being the latest to do so. The Dyatlov Pass Incident Without question, the Dyatlov Pass incident is likely the biggest influence on this season of True Detective Night Country. This mystery occurred in February of 1959 and saw a group of nine Soviet hikers meet a mysterious and bone-chilling end. The Dyatlov Pass incident is the story of the death of nine student hikers in the Ural Mountains. It's often referred to as Russia's greatest mystery. The experienced group of men and women were students at the Ural Polytechnic Institute and were led by mountaineer Igor Dyatlov. The group had planned a 16-day ski trip and set up camp on the Kolatsyakl Mountain. It was after this that something strange occurred. For unknown reasons, over the course of the night, the hikers cut their way out of their tents and ran out into the sub-zero tundra without the proper clothing they would all perish. Later stories would suggest that the hikers fled in a panic from some terrifying event. 
but the footsteps as seen by Slobstov clearly show how the hikers walked or marched side by side away from the tent. Horrifyingly, reports say that some of the people were missing specific parts of their body when they were found. This included eyeballs and even a tongue. It was said that of the group, six passed away from hypothermia, while the remainder died from trauma to their heads, faces, and or chests. The bodies were also not all together when they were found. Did we mention the mountain they camped on was also referred to as Dead Mountain? Conspiracies about what happened to the victims have run rampant over the years. But in 2021, a pair of scientists theorized that something known as a slab avalanche likely caused a panic and had the group running for cover. Is there a way for people to explain the unexplainable or the unexplained, whereas the reality is some cases are just tough to solve. However, many still believe that something unnatural caused these deaths. In true Detective Night Country's premiere, Jodie Foster's Liz Danvers and her colleagues Hank and Pryor inspect a tongue that was discovered at an abandoned research station. A clear nod to Igor Dyatlov's ill-fated team. All right, let's take a look at that tongue. The end of episode one also parallels the mystery, with several men discovered, frozen and huddled together sans clothes. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Spontaneous Human Combustion The last real-life mystery that showrunner Issa Lopez says intrigued her when writing the fourth season of True Detective is something known as spontaneous human combustion. Of over a dozen case files, a human body is reduced to ash without any attendant burning or melting, rapid oxidation without heat. Let's just forget for the moment that there's no scientific theory to support it. The unexplained act occurs when someone's own body, for reasons unknown, self-destructs by igniting into flames. The many documented cases of this bizarre yet terrifying act have puzzled the scientific community for decades. It's also been the subject of both unsolved mystery-related documentaries and science fiction entertainment over the years, including popular shows like Fringe and The X-Files. Does look like an arm to anybody? An arm? As for what might cause such an act, there is something called the wick effect. In many cases, a person's hands and feet are found after the bizarre incident. With these appendages not reduced to ashes like the rest of the body, a possible explanation emerged having to do with body fat. Could mysterious forces have caused victims to be consumed by flames emitted and sustained by their own bodies? In this terrifying scenario, it's hypothesized that a person catches on fire only to have their own body fat keep the fire lit. As there's very little fat in hands and feet, they are left somewhat intact. Of course, True Detective Night Country is set in the frigid cold wilderness of Alaska, and this phenomenon has yet to show up. But while there might not be any spontaneous human combustions on screen, the phenomenon around a person's own body suddenly harming them may play a role in the season's mysteries. Got a break in her case? I'm not sure yet. Want a beer? Showrunner Lopez says that she's drawn to these mysterious cases and, quote, prefers the strange, incomplete answer and has, quote, a fascination with puzzles that are still missing a couple of pieces. What do you want? This tattoo was on Annie's body. And while she does promise that there will indeed be a resolution on Night Country with plenty of questions answered, it's likely the speculation surrounding these real-life inspirations may never cease. But the riddle of that ill-fated voyage in 1872 will haunt us forever. Are you watching True Detective Night Country? Do you see parallels with these real-life mysteries? Share your theories in the comments below. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, it does. I just not seeing it, not asking the right questions. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.